Welcome to the loneliest, most terrifying, most isolating level in all of the backrooms. Level negative 627. Oh, and you probably won't ever be able to leave. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? Also, if you want to see a more personal side of me, go check out my vlog channel. It'll be the top link in the description below. Thank you. So backrooms level negative 627 is a very deep level in the backrooms. It's nicknamed Alone With Your Thoughts, and it's classified as a class undetermined rating because of its overall mysterious properties and randomness. Also, it's undocumented environments. When you first get sent to the level, you'll wake up in a secluded, pleasant environment. These environments look different for each person that ends up coming here, so there's no one description that fits all of them, but they normally have no animals or entities or other people. It's just you, you're completely alone, with your thoughts, which sounds like a normal day in real life to me, but oh well. Even though each environment is different per person, I'm gonna go over some of the ones that you might run across or you might be sent to. You won't get sent to a bunch of these, you'll only get sent to one of these that I'm about to go over, so you better hope you get lucky. And keep in mind that all these spaces are silent and isolated and give you feelings of dread and sadness and existential crisis. There's eight different ones that I'm going to talk about, and these are the ones that have been cataloged so far, and they are as follows. Secluded parks with benches, empty piers over water, damp hallways that lead to light, the inside of broken down cars, lonely beaches with lapping waves, wet, dirty tunnels that lead to nowhere, building rooftops over cities and porches or decks that look familiar and liminal. Each of these places is different, but they're all very lonely and they all put you in a position to where you're alone with your thoughts and nothing else. So get ready to hear some sadness, liminalness, loneliness, and everything like that. First up is the secluded parks with benches. These parks are typically in the autumn season, so they're around the fall time, and it's always dark or sunset when you get sent here. The temperature is around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, or like 10 or 11 degrees Celsius, so it feels cool and calm and empty. The secluded parks are large expanses of soft rolling grass with trees dotted everywhere, and dirt paths or stone paths that cut through them. The only sounds that you might be able to hear in these areas is a slow wind rustling and leaves rustling sound because that's all there is that's here. The one constant in all these parks is a bench that's alone off the path somewhere. They seem to be made out of some kind of iron and they look like ones from a real life park, which just adds to the eeriness of these places to me. Along the path and near the bench, there'll probably be like a single street light that gives off a really slightly bright glow to the area. And this entire place is just extremely lonely and liminal and it feels like time itself stops when you get sent here you might also get sent to a bench that's in a different environment and not in a secluded park at nighttime like the one i just talked about and an example of that might be a bench next to a river or a bench in the streets of an empty city just know that this first environment always has a bench somewhere but it's most likely to be in a dark secluded park it just depends next up is a pier or a dock that you could get sent to and this is another common environment the pier is made out of some kind of waterlogged, dark colored wood that overlooks a still and stagnant pond. The pond is surrounded by trees and tall grass, and you can barely see just an old bridge off in the distance in front of you. The time of year here is autumn and fall too, and it's a similar temperature to the secluded park. The only sounds that you'll be able to hear are wind running through the grass and the trees, and maybe a random bird sound or a water dripping sound. Most people that get sent here are overwhelmed with thoughts of guilt and shame, and they don't even want to look at themselves in the reflection of the pond. They feel overwhelmed, and they can't really control their own brain, and they just want to let go and jump inside of that pond and never be seen again, which is kind of sad, actually. The next environment is this type of hallway. They're typically really dark behind you and to the sides of you, but they lead to a very bright light at the end. The hall itself is made out of some kind of concrete, and it feels very claustrophobic and isolating. Most of the level feels isolating and claustrophobic, but this place is worse. It's been said that most people like to stay in the dark areas here because the light at the end of the hallway makes weird things happen to your brain, like paranoia and guilt and stuff like that. The next place you might get sent to is the inside of broken down cars, which is the smallest and most cramped space that you might get sent to on this level. The car itself is locked 
and you can't get out of it to explore, and you also can't even look out the windows, because you just see a foggy expanse and nothing else. The temperature inside the car is a cool 41 degrees Fahrenheit, or 5 degrees Celsius, and the only sounds that you can hear, once again, is the wind brushing up against the car. In my opinion, this place would be awful to be sent to, because you can barely move around inside of a car, and if you were trapped inside of it with nothing but your own thoughts, I think you would go crazy pretty fast. The next possible location you could get sent to is a sandy beach that looks like this. The beach seems to be at nighttime with this dark expanse of ocean right in front of you that just seemingly never ends. The only thing in the sky is a moon type of planet, which gives the entire place a very strange, ghostly glow. And this is one of the warmest locations that you might get sent to in level negative 627, and it stays around 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. It also seems to be a summertime area. The water here has this hypnotizing effect that calls out to you in a way, and it makes you want to just jump in the water and never get out. The only sound you can hear is once again the wind blowing and then the soft ocean water lapping up onto the shore. Like I said, people have claimed that the ocean calls them and tries to lure them into itself, which is weird. So if the ocean talks, don't listen to it. Tunnels like these are also a possible location that the level might create for you, and these are typically circular tunnels that are wet and damp and full of old leaves and have holes in the ceiling, and there's algae going everywhere. They're very similar to the other tunnels from earlier, except they're circular and more dirty and damp, and there's also a light at the end of these tunnels that you can walk towards. But once you get there, you'll find that there's nothing there except a dead end, which gives people feelings of sadness and distraughtness, because, you know, you, you thought you were going to get out out, but you're not. You're trapped inside of a small circular tunnel. The next place you might get sent to is a rooftop of a skyscraper in a city. And the city under you is always alive. It has traffic and lights and crowded sidewalks and people, but you're stuck on this roof above it all and they can't hear you. So you feel really alienated and alone from the life that's alive under you and there's no way to get down to the people there. Like you, you just can't get off this roof and you're trapped here watching people go about their lives, knowing that you'll never be part of it. Which again, is pretty sad. The last main thing that level negative 627 might send you to is like an empty porch environment. The porch seems random, but familiar at the same time and is very liminal and very calming. It's also eerie and unknown. It looks almost like your grandparents' porch or your friend's porch or your aunt's or your uncle's porch, but ever so slightly different. It stays at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius here, and it's always pitch black with the only sounds you can hear are the wind chimes and this ambient wilderness noise off in the distance. There's typically a chair or a swing on these porches where you can sit and think about yourself and about life and that's about all you can do i mean you're trapped on a porch at nighttime in the middle of summer alone what else are you gonna do so what does this all mean you know why is there a level that traps people in small locations with nothing else but their own thoughts. Well, no one knows why or how it happens, but it's thought that people who get sent here have done bad things in their life and that this is some sort of punishment or payment for those things they've done. Or at least that's what we all tell ourselves to make this level less scary. Most people that end up getting sent here either end up forgiving themselves and possibly escaping, or they get consumed by their guiltiness and are never seen again. Or maybe the worst fate is those who get consumed by their thoughts so much that they wander off into these fake environments and sink so far into this reality that they end up merging together with it. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. People who don't make peace with their past or they try to escape the level early might find themselves in one last scary zone. This zone looks like a very small and dark, cramped room that feels wet and gross, and it smells like mothballs. The room itself is about the size of a closet, and there's only one thing in there, an old mirror right in front of you that you're always looking at. You can barely move around in this little area, and you can't see your reflection in that mirror. You can only see your regrets and your misgivings from the past, which are continuously being replayed for an eternity on that mirror, and you'll be forced to watch it forever. Which sounds like a grand time, but I think now I'll go over the exits for those of you that want to know how to live longer, I guess. To exit, you have to make peace with the wrong that you've done. Simple as that. No matter what it is, you have to accept it and move on, or you'll be trapped here in these environments forever, thinking they're real, but knowing they're fake. Good luck knowing why you got sent here. <laughs> Just know that you probably deserved it.
But yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I think this level is pretty great. I love the lonely and liminal and terrifying retrospectiveness of it. Great work. Check out the full article below if you want to know more about it. Thank you for your love and support. Turn those notifications on for all of my videos if you want to see the content. Also, make sure to have a great day. Tell someone you love them. Tell someone you appreciate them. And uh, with all that said, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.